Don't update your PC. This Windows update could lock you out of your system with a BitLocker recovery screen. And this video will explain what this means and show you how to be prepared for it. So Microsoft has confirmed that several recent updates, KB5066835 for Windows 11 and KB5066791 for Windows 10, can unexpectedly trigger BitLocker recovery on your system. And it mostly appears on Intel-based PCs that support a feature called Connected Standby. It basically keeps the device half awake so it can instantly turn back on. Almost all modern PCs have it. And here's what will happen when the issue occurs. After installing these updates, and when you try to start your PC or reboot it, some devices will show the BitLocker recovery screen. And you'll be asked to enter a 48-digit recovery key before you can access your system or any data on it. And if you don't have that key, that's going to be a big problem. But no need to worry about it if it hasn't happened to you, because there are a few things you can do to avoid this. First, we can check if BitLocker is currently turned on. Just search for BitLocker in the taskbar and open this. Here you can see the encrypted drive. If it's turned on, it's best to back up your recovery key immediately. And it's always a good idea to save it locally or on a USB drive. I mean, you never know when Microsoft Sync might fail or somehow you lose access to your account. Once you backed it up, you can decide if you want to turn it off or not. If you do, just click here and wait a few seconds. If this doesn't work, you can check my previous video for other methods. And if you do want to keep the BitLocker on for some reasons, or just don't want to be caught off guard by a BitLocker recovery screen, creating a rescue USB drive is always the safest choice. And for that, you can use Ease's Partition Master. One special reason I recommend this tool is that when you use it to make a bootable USB, it also automatically saves your system's BitLocker recovery key. So when things go down, you can boot your PC from that USB, and it'll automatically decrypt the drive and give you access to all your data. All you need is a USB drive with at least four gigabytes of space, plug it into your PC, and open Ease's Partition Master. Here, go to Bootable Media and select this option, and choose your USB drive and click Create here. And after that, you can use your PC without any concern. Now, let's say I'm locked out of the system. All I need to do is plug in the USB drive, press BIOS key during startup. In BIOS menu, set the USB as the boot drive and wait for my computer to start up. Then you'll see that I've successfully logged into the desktop without needing the recovery key. You can even open Ease's Partition Master and use it to find your recovery key, helping you get everything back on track. Now, for those who are already stuck on the recovery screen, you can see here telling you to go to a website where you can find your key. You can go there with your phone or another computer. It requires you to log into the same Microsoft account, and then you should see the record like this. However, some users might have trouble accessing their Microsoft account. So again, a rescue USB drive is always reliable for such situations. And that's all for this video. If you need any help, drop a comment below. See you at the next one.